here live in Maryland. As, as for last year, we did such program at Ikotu. I'm here on behalf of Pastor Rosemary Ekaite to pass out what she sent us out to change life today. We are also here to change lives of widows. We are here to turn things around. Brought our program, our outreach program here that we normally name Sort House and is to help pe the people of this environment, the less privileged in this environment and the widows here to empower them financially. But not only financially, we make financial empowerment available. At the same time, we also empower them skillfully. We teach them different skills. Like for example, now the one what we're having on ground right now, going on right now, we're teaching them on how to make cake, snacks, you know, and how to make up, how to make makeup, you know, cosmetology and all that, and how to produce things like soap, detergent, deodorant, and all these things. And we believe that those things are things that one need in an economy like Nigeria now that the recession is biting hard. People need to have something, a skill to do in order to make ends meet and we don't only give them those, that skill like I said we give them the skill we also empower them financially so they can start up somewhere uh, this is a program being organized by uh, Rosemary where we on behalf of the entire community we want to thank you, thank you so we want to appreciate you, you so for bringing this uh, program to our community here The Lord is going to sort us out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In everything we do, our gathering here forces to the Lord. Thank God for every dignitary that is here. But the greatest dignitary of them all is our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why before we do anything, we must acknowledge His presence. And what can I do? Oluwa <laughs> Pastor it's not because she has more than enough. Praise the Lord. It's not because she has the whole world. It's because she desires to help people. Because she have the, she have the mind to give. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Hallelujah. The, the greatest mistake we made today is so many people complain a lot. I don't have. I don't have. I don't have. I'm telling you, you have. You don't want to give. Everybody has. No matter how the fruit will be so small, there must be seed inside. Hallelujah. So that seed inside can be so small. Just plant it. It will germinate. And when it germinates, it will bring more fruit. But you go kereto, it's not everything is thought about money. You can give your time. You can encourage someone. That little thing you give matters a lot. Hallelujah. No. I pray that the Almighty God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The church, in the midst of all that they said you are believers, God has looked into that place and sought you out, separated you out today for a blessing. Amen. Can somebody say amen? amen? He has brought you out for a blessing, for a specific blessing, to bless you. Because the Bible told us that we have been called to inherit blessings, not to inherit poverty. So God has sought you out today. This is what this outreach is all about. To make this scripture real, a reality in your life. God sorting you out for blessing. So what is true religion? The Bible said according to the book of James. is visiting the widow 
in the time of their need, taking care of orphans and taking care of the less privileged and keeping yourself unspotted. The Bible says that is true religion. Pastor Rosemary Kaiti have decided to make herself a useful vessel in the hand of God and to proclaim exactly what true Christianity is all about. That is why this outreach is here. With gratitude to God Almighty, I humbly welcome everyone to another sort out care outreach program holding in Lagos, Nigeria today, October 16, 2021. Once again, I am very humble but very much excited knowing that through our ministry, leading the Courage Ministry, today many lives will be touched impacted and blessed to the glory of God. Living in courage ministry is a vision given by God to reach out to people in every walks of life. Women, men and children, adults, young and old, with one message, live in courage. Through our various platforms, we ignite in people renewed hope, encouraging them to see their work in Christ, irrespective of their past. Hallelujah irrespective of their past or present mistake, experience all the abuse and rejection they may have faced in life. Our mission is to make every man and woman understand that there is purpose for life, for their lives, and they can truly fulfill that purpose when their life is anchored in God. Our vision is to see every man created by God live in courage, to encourage others. We see every man created by God live in courage, to encourage others. We believe this is the will of God for you and me. Hallelujah. Solar Care Outreach is an arm of living and courage ministry that cater to the widows, single mother, abused women, children, and less privileged families. Our mission is to encourage these women and children with the love of Christ and to empower them to live life again, no matter the story of their past. Our anchor scripture is Isaiah 62, verse 12. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemer of the Lord, and thou shalt be called sought out, a city not for The name sought out was carefully and prayerfully given to reflect the heart of God towards us. Truth is, God never gives up on any man or woman. He is always searching out ways to reach us, bless us, and make us fulfill the purpose for which he created men for mankind forsake men but men can forsake man but God can never forsake anybody if you are here today congratulations to you because you are sought out by God Almighty today some of you will be trained on skilled accusation while some of you will be empowered to be financially independent please note that everything you receive today has been given to you by God you have been sought out. But remember, it is a privilege because there are many more people out there too. As you live here blessed and empowered, please pass it on by being a blessing to someone. We may not be able to reach all, but we are confident that through you, we sought out and blessed someday by your kindness. I conclude by giving thanks to the team who worked tirelessly to put this conference together. The following people are worth mentioning. Living in Korea representative, Mr. Oladiko Matangel Adimbola, who makes sure every living in Korea woman is cared for monthly. Living in Korea representative, Pastor Michael Agile, Senior Pastor, Full Gospel Pentecostal Church, who always pray for our women and feed them with the word of God, empower them spiritually. Living in courage for the nation, Esther Brown, who works tirelessly to follow up with a representative and living in courage women. Living in courage representative, Pastor John Okwene, Senior Pastor, Love Christian Center, Ikotu, Lagos, for keeping our living in courage women encouraged by the word of God. Living in courage women, all the women who have been under our care program who believe in our vision and will today become our ambassadors. Living encourage volunteers, 
everyone involved in making this conference a success one way or the other. Thank you, God bless you. You all encourage me. My heartfelt thanks also go to Oba Oluwa Shibu Adeyemi Adjase for honoring us with his fatherly presence, all pastors and men of God present, all members and executives of ACHF, my alma mater, members of the press, members of Love Christian Center, and all my in-laws, siblings, family members, and friends. Thank you all. You are a source of encouragement to me also. I love you all. To everyone here today, I truly appreciate it from my heart. I wish I could be there, but I think I am thankful that you all could grace the occasion as my representative. Thank you. God bless you. Finally, to everyone here, remember you are sought out by God. So live encouraged to encourage someone. Love, Pastor Rosemary Ekaite. Founder and Covenant Sword Out Outreach, living in courage. Thank you very much.
January, February this year to say that I was going to help her to do something and I told her I was busy. Now, there's no way I could, you know, do that. So around May, she called me again to say, uh, Pastor, that did I ask you to do for me? Well, with someone else has done it. I said, what exactly is that? She said, well, she's trying to empower some people. I said, what are the people we are trying to empower? She said, widows, uh, women that are abused, children that are abused, and all that. Ah. Oh, my mom, we don't drink in the and she just took it up like but the, the third day she called me and said, send me the name of the widows you, you think you have. I sent her six names. We started with six. And then we graduated to seven, eight. And that's where we are today. And I have a promise from her. There are as many that have been trained today. And your name is in the registration book there. Uh, you have been trained. And you have probably told her your area of need. Uh, she will go through the registration list uh, with her uh, team members. And then uh, we'll be getting back to you. But today... She has asked us to empower those widows again. She's giving them something. Uh, yeah. And then she's also giving them certificate of uh, appreciation. That is today. Please and please let us make use of this opportunity to now start a new way of life. So that's what's next. Because this thing might not be coming your way again, it will be for another set of people. Judiciously use it. And those that have been trained today, we already have your phone number, and we already have your area of interest. We will send all that to her, and before Christmas, I will alone, I will ACI you. Now the next person is uh, Fadero Eunice Fadwe Me. If you are there, Mrs. Odukwe Christana, is she? You are doing the next presentation. present this certificate to the upper as an outstanding leader and caring father. That's what she wrote. So, as for the upper, God bless you, sir. God bless you, really good. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
invited me that they are doing some programs here so I came to see making and it was really really great like I even jotted down it was great it's fine thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to learn this because I can never think I'm going to spend my money to go and learn it out there no. Ko <laughs> I want to let she film and wear me. Make up. 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 Make if what I, I notice all those things that number one, Pastor Rosemary, Makete is a person who who caring, who used to take care of a widow like myself now. I'm a young widow, so and I have only a little child, one child. So it's like it's a God sent to me. All the things she's doing for me, I'm appreciate it. I said, God, who, who sent this lady? Ah, you should continue blessing her. Anything she wants, God help her. Empowerment, no she from Waleni. Oh, do more one. I'm going to confess on the paper, Pastor. Mrs. Rosemary, a kaite, Toro no con, our widow, Toshewala, no, I know only one leo, I know only found one way, Sile, while I da muko nearly lonely, or long, I want to let me giggle at Alafia to my filo, the job boy, or do well. You know me, don't giddy giddy. Opony me, or to last me three years, talk committee, come with a manager, mommy, wants to. So, Tiani, but you're in it more why. You know me, do go more out with Mufu Moto. I've been in Subano, me do low water death, me, my fishing, can give you like barrel long. Talk me, I'd rather my bow and be Tombawa. Slay Rose, Auntie Rose, a kite, I've been. If you Tombawa Lenny, ah, all about my drooting one. All of my dear contest, you are junior on say one. Oh, so I know by I know long knock on if you want to see because nigba ti ma n bo bayi ko jo pe mo lo yawo moto ti mo fi wa bi ba lati bi ti mo ti wa mo wa fe ma lo inu mi dun owo to de fun mi mo tun wa ke ko ninu awon kan ton ko wa nbi bayi bi sawa ma make him cake nkan te mi na le se ni ti mo le ni won ba ton ko wa ye kan na eyan ko le jo posu mefa le yan fe ko to ma mo e to ba ni opolo jo kan ton ko yan so jo kejo ma mo inu mi du pupo 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 to pe ruse yi gan ton ko mi tin ba pa awon mi tin ba fi lawon mi lowo na pe lo ra kan ba ba ile ra kan ba be se in fact ko le pa re ninu ninu opolo mi and enu mi do wo ton fun mi yi 20000 ton fun mi yi o ma fi di millions na wo mi lagbara olorun olorun la mi ba de se n fi owo isoko wo ti mo fi manager ami ibi ton ba wa na adura ma ma ba won ni fu ogbori kokon ton se kan fun le ni a po be o ta je opo atawon alai ni na olorun ma ba mi pese fun won Olo nu won ni ka ba mo en to ba ru buru si won ma fori are egbe ni lagbara Olorun inu won ma du tomo tomo won ni bi kan te ba wa atoko won atebi won anu Olorun ko ni fi won sile o we thank God for the woman that introduced us to this program and i pray that God will continue to strengthen her the wisdom and the knowledge that is using to do outreach for people God will not allow the knowledge and the wisdom to die in the name of Jesus so i'm standing here now i'm a widow about 12 years, I've lost my husband when my children are still small. And I thank God for the church of God 
that uh, they are coming out to do outreach. This is one of them now that is helping people, helping window, helping fatherless people, that they are helping us. And I pray God will continue to strengthen them. God will continue to bless their pocket where they are taking the money out to do the outreach, to bless people. God will return it in triple fold in Jesus' name. Uh, I'm very, very encouraged and I appreciate the, the operation you people took to this by street here. And I achieved something. I've learned how to make soap. Although I'm not fully qualified as a soap maker, but gradually, while I'm practicing, I will achieve something which will be useful to me. I'm very happy for it. I'm very happy. Although I've been hearing the name of this, my sister. But I'm very happy to see the organization today. So it gave me a courage of seeing at home today to see what people are performing. To ye, you jay to Pataki. The Moripa win, I jam for near local local. To run it to Baran to Man and Lower, who will like below you of any new Jesu, who you of any one riba, or to watch his chef. We see you two of you like it to Jacque Alice or Bay in Catu Kerry. And do them for your nickel in Kala Lushi, and do the gentle Boloni, to the more long noise, she put down a bamboo pump and your lonely one jet. I want not to buy a do no longer to my bad noisy, so on Lani, Morizi, program Pataki, Ni Twanshi. Akuna, I demand she really lay. I get big best at the Jesu to the Jesu Funarari. I no loan she, everybody along that Bolekon, I no to she, Omo Bati being by Yamo Bata, I could tie it. I need a one yawa to the gun, Uluman back by the Toretto, Totoria was I. So any I show alone, two Bamo Bashim by me. I want a good tone like Paddy, Kitchen, I shall long get it. I book and I go to Kitchen, Muamaka, Kia, Koma, Mufon, Koma, Mabanch, and Toju, Bioko, I lie in me, about my line, Nebaba, Kitchen, I shall long get it. I be a judge just to feel lower on Colonia. Along pay and tell me along, be no, and tell me along, be no, and no one. Toronto long, no fear, no one can be in a show alone, no one shall lower lower. That a man I lie in me, oh. I lie in Baba, I want to Yanje, Latimana, 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 one lower. So, a me, Muny, one, Ponta Long, it shall not let alone believe one lower, two on the Kunari, Latimaje, or Latimana, one lower, Nijaba alone, my bed on two one. To wish her well on this program that she's running. I hope that uh, it becomes huge success, more strength and strength to her, and God bless you for this goodwill that you're offering to people. I'm very proud of you and God bless you again. Just have to say fantastic, excellent. I mean, um, Rosemary, I kite wherever you are. The Lord will continue to strengthen you, will increase you. This will be something that you will do um, greater works from here because the Bible says greater works we will do from now. So I will be praying and I will be saying that God will continue to back this program up. This is what we need in Nigeria. Reaching out to the people who are in need and I can see first hand that people are here benefiting from what Rosemary is doing so I'm going to say God will continue to empower this ministry bless Rosemary and she will do better and better every year and continuous. In terms of uh, support I feel uh, because uh, the government cannot reach out to every individual so I believe um, uh, organizations can come to assist, to support initiatives like this, you know, to reach out to people is a very good thing, you know, but, and uh, the government cannot reach, in, reach out to every cranny, you know, of the society, but when individuals like this come out to, to, help, uh, in, to help the people, to help the less privileged and all, it's good to support, you know, I believe uh, organizations should come up and individuals also can be of help. Of great support to initiatives like this. Started last year in Nigeria, uh, the founder, the convener, uh, Pastor Rosemary Ekaite, uh, she lives in Texas. Well, she decided to start helping widows, abused women, abused children, uh, underprivileged families. So she, you know, she asked me to look for people like that in this area and I was able to get her some number of them and so she was paying her 5,000 naira every month from July, she did. And so she decided to empower them today to say, okay, I'll give you some training, I'll give you some money, go start your own business. 
and then she's hoping to pick other set from January. By next year, we should have something bigger than this. We should have something much more bigger than this. Say a big thank you for Pastor Rosemary for giving us this platform to change life, for giving us this privilege to be a part of this vision in our lives. I want to say a big thank you and God bless you.